Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 in Capitan, New Mexico at my home base here. It's a beautiful day. The temperature is probably around 70. This is my Casita RV. And I also have a Beer 30 patio. And fortunately today, I have someone to talk to other than myself. <laughs> and here they are. We'll start with the lady on the right. And your name is? Maria. Maria. Adrian. Adrian. Levi. And Levi, the bed and breakfast man from <laughs> Capitan. You see, that's kind of a little poem there. Okay, let me see if I can get you in the light here. There you go. You're good. Okay. I don't want you in the dark. Let me pull this up a little bit. Hang on, guys. This is not a professional video, but we're going to try. Okay, Levi, you're on. <laughs> okay, uh, Rusty and I earlier were talking about traveling. We've been to the same places, you know. Talk about the West. Yeah. Okay, we're talking about uh, places okay. we've traveled, been to the same places. I've got uh, uh, probably a uh, uh, hundred or more uh, stories from hitchhiking across the country. Okay, uh, let me just start. Uh, I can't, I've been out here almost 22 years. I'm from, uh, let's say Carolina Beach, uh, North Carolina. Okay, and uh, when I first came out here, I didn't, you know, the only thing about the West, I've read everything about it. Lincoln County, New Mexico. Oh, actually, <laughs> Lincoln County, New Mexico. And uh, so anyway, I be when I get here, I'm, I'm a plumber by trade, but I would do about anything. And uh, I, I bet. Uh, I How long have say, you had your bed and breakfast, Levi? Oh, this will be the fourth year. What kind of people live around Capitan, New Mexico? I tell you what, I know a lot of good people here. Uh, just like the guy right here, his name's Kent McGinnis. He's a great guy. His people's been around here since the 1800s. I want to get a shout out to the Capitan Police Department. Uh, uh, Brett McGinnis is his son, and, and uh, uh, and he, uh, alias Billy the Kid. And uh, we got Chief Police, uh, uh, Randy Spears, shout out to him. Uh, and I want to give a shout out to uh, Steve, is Brett's uh, father in law. He's good. These people that I'm uh, giving a shout out to love Lincoln County, New Mexico, like me. Good. Okay, these people uh, love uh, Lega County. What about the stores here? Don't they have a nice uh, grocery store here? Uh, also, the Smokey's Country Market. Yeah, Smokey's okay, Country Market. Okay, I want to give a shout. Those people are so super nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're the nicest people. Trish that runs the place and everything, they're, they're super nice. And uh, I want to give a shout out to them. And my friend Jeff, you know, uh, I want to give a shout out to him. And let me see. Oh, uh, my sister. Your well, sister? <laughs> yeah, in North she Carolina. She, she, my sister is uh, works for the uh, deputy for the Pitta County Sheriff's Department. She's a deputy? Yeah, she's been uh, a deputy over 20 years. Really? In North Carolina? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and I want to give a shout out to Uncle Larry. He's sick. I just called him. About a, I don't know what's wrong. I said, what are you, uh, got the corona? He said, I don't know. You know, whatever my Uncle Larry's doing. I told him I was going to uh, get interviewed t tonight for YouTube. Right. Yeah, and Rusty seven eight six zero nine, <laughs> and uh, anyway, but uh, uh, he's a retired from the New Hampshire County Sheriff's Department, uh, and he was a chief of police in Phoenix, City, Alabama. <laughs> well, yeah. when, when are you going to be going back home to visit these people? Well, I went last year. Not, uh, when I get through telling one of my stories. All right. Okay. Well, well, when my doggie is, she's about thirteen years old. When she passes away. Uh, I'm going to do do some more traveling and look for opportunities, cause uh, it's just like my friend uh, that I work for. I worked for them for many years, about 70 years. And uh, one thing he taught me he says, Levi, there's no such thing as luck. Okay, if you're prepared and the opportunity comes to you, you take advantage of that opportunity and make it work for you and me. You're, and then it's not luck. So I work for the, these people. Uh, they had like 30 sub riddles right. from Riddoso to, uh, I need to turn this like no, this. No, you're fine. Uh, yeah, but I'm looking at you sideways. Look at the sun. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, um, uh, they, uh, what took, when I first met him, I was, uh, I had just got through plumbing, uh, uh, travel lodge. I put 60 sinks in and that was, you know, 60 sinks, 20, 40, 60, uh, units. And, uh, and, um, and then I was doing some tile work. Back then, you couldn't make a living in Redoso hardly. It's a tourist town, Redoso, New Mexico. And uh, 
So he, I was staying at this uh, 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 the Holiday House Motel. That's another story. When I pull, first pulled up in there, it says, she said, are you a plumber? I said, because you see what was on the truck. I said, yeah. And uh, I want to show you something. I said, well, I was going to get a nice, uh, you know, see if I can get, well, I got me a night here free, you know. I was going to pay for it anyway. And because uh, I'd already been working across the West. And um, somebody just asked me, said, you ever been to Red Dose in New Mexico? I said, no. Anyway, I'm there. Okay, and uh, she showed me a leak in the sink, I mean, in the ceiling, galvanized and copper and all that. I said, well, I, I got stuff to fix that with. I fixed it. She said, I want to show you something else. I said, well, she got another leak. Well, will give me another night, you know. She showed me a room. She says, you keep my leaks fixed. You can stay here as long as you want. I kept a home base there for three years. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah and I just kept, and then she turned me on to all the, uh, the uh, Alpine Lodge, uh, and Ruidoso, uh, different ones. Uh, uh, different different places. Some of them are not there. Alpine's not there. Some are not there anymore. And uh, and I started working. I remember ten dollars an hour plumber. Wow. That would be you know and they do it yard work and stuff. Yeah, you know, I met some cool people and everything. And uh, you know and but you gotta you gotta you gotta remember. I was new to the West. And there's some Mescalero Apaches I was hanging out with, you know and everything. So you know we're partying, man. You know. And, and, uh, long story short, in five years. I lost my license. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm partying down. Yeah. So, after five years, I start tightening up. Right. And not only, this is another story. You know, I was going into Mexico and everything, bringing stuff in, whatever, helping, you know, helping out with uh, somebody. But uh, my boss said, Levi, this was the turning point. I know what you're doing. You keep doing what you're doing, but you, you got a good thing going on here and you're going to ruin it. So, my story. My old behavior, I'm like, uh, okay, he's right. I love these people. To, I love the family I'm working for. So that never happened. I just, uh, again, and I just kept uh, working for them. And uh, wow. so we, we would go, well, when he, when he had rentals, uh, me and Lucian, you know, they'd move out. We'd move in there and, and fix them up. They'd be painted, uh, painting, uh, carpet, whatever, plumbing, wiring, whatever. We, we would do it, you know, rent them out again. We'd go to another place. If we if He had a three-section ranch in Texas in uh stanton texas we worked there that's another story but uh you know in different places but uh lucian ended up dying from excess you know he drank too damn much right you know, he was he was a he was a marine he was a, a, a vietnam vet okay uh you know but we were best friends he died okay well, i kept working for these people but we had an understanding when i got called up i hit the road jack to see the west you know and i'd go out and uh you know and i, I gotta also remember these people i work for are, are very well off and very very gracious and nice people and when you get in with somebody like that they can't trust anybody so when you get in with somebody like that they need somebody they can trust so they could they could they could always trust me with any of their properties or anything like that to this day because i still work uh, periodically for my friend i'm not going to call her name good uh, anyway, so I'm on the ranch working, and, you know, and, uh, and uh, you know, I, it's, I get one of my itches. I, you know, uh, he said, I said, man, I want to, I want to go out, you know, hitchhike around. So uh, I'm on the ranch. The woman calls the sheriff, which is a friend of his, which uh, it was a dry county. He used to bring my booze out there. He bring my bud out there. He just take it for people to give it to me, you know. Right. Well, he's a friend. We go out and shoot guns, you know. He wanted to get away from his wife. You know, he got, you know, we, we, we hang out all day and shoot guns, drink beer, smoke bud, you know. He's a sheriff. Anyway, uh, I want to get, hey, Norman, I'm coming to Redoso. Well, Redoso is where I live. I live basically all over, wherever his properties are. You know, and, uh, so, okay, I'll go. And, you know, here, here, the beginning, this, what this, I'm getting at, this is the beginning of one of my many stories, one of my many adventures. So here it goes. So he drops me off. Uh, where is that coming out of uh, Stanton, Texas? I 20. Here, I gotta get, and, uh, I gotta get, uh, uh, I'm going to, uh, 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 I gotta get, uh, to planes and all that. Okay, well, anyway, uh, he drops me off. He, he said, Man, Levi, I got water. He said, Don't you want some summer sausage or something like that? And I said, No, I don't travel nothing but water. You know, where, where I'm going, I said, I'll be there today. He said, Are you, you gonna be a red dose today? I said, What was that, seven, seven hours away? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, 
Well, I'm, you know, I'm hitchhiking, you know, and I'm walking, you know, some, this old Cadillac pulls up, guy in a cowboy hat, hey, you got money. He's going to Red Dose, uh, he's going to the Inner Mountain Gods at the Mescalo Apache Reservation to do some gambling. So there's a ride straight there. Really? Yeah, so he takes me all the way, pulls up right in, uh, uh, Norman and Betty had a 5,000 square foot house in, in Red Dose Downs. It had, uh, we had water from the river, we had apple orchards, peach orchards, everything. Uh, I took care of all that out there. After me and Lucia did, Lucia died. I took care of all that and anything they had. In, in my whole life, I, I had never had nothing in my life. And I still didn't. By this time, I never. I don't have nothing. Uh, uh, There's more stories. Anyway, you know, and um, so I get there, cracking a beer and everything. He pulled right up in there and he pulls out. He's gone, you know. There's Norman out there. Sheriff said, calls and says, you heard anything from Levi? Well, he's standing beside me right now drinking a beer. So, you know, and, and so I rest up and hang out with Norman and everything. I get everything called up around there. So I'm taking off. Sometimes I do long trips, short trips. I got my phone with me. If he calls me, tells me to come back, I need to come back. And um, anyway, so uh, I said, just drop me off uh, past the reservation. And I got a jug of water. I got some buddy. I got some food and stuff like that. I got bud, you know. And uh, so uh, he's used to this, yeah. you know. So I, I'm going, you know. So uh, that uh, by that day, I ended up in um, uh, uh, what up New Mexico, uh, Glenwood, New Mexico. They got a little campground there, a little store. They used to. It. Glenwood don't exist anymore. It's where the uh, the, uh, the falls, the uh, the catwalk is. Have you been there? No. Well, you've got extended bridges you walk through. That's Geronimo Stronghold. Okay. All right, and and and, and, uh, and you got the uh, the, uh, the the river running through there. I'm thinking the name of it. Uh, anyway, there's hot springs everywhere. It's one of my favorite places to camp. Yeah. You know, I got many of them, and I know those people there because I've done work for them. You know. Yeah. So I, you know, I I get there and I go to the store. Hey, hey, what's happening? You know, everything. So I get me some weenies and everything. You know, some, Anyway, the next day, I'm on Alpine, Arizona. Shout out Alpine, Arizona. The best people in the world. There's probably like 175 there. there. Now, was it was like 250 by then. Uh, Bear Wallow uh, a Restaurant. You know, you, uh, I went in there and did where I, like I always do. You got, you got any work? You know, she, you know, you know that's what I got. I need money, man. You know, I don't, you know I'll, I'll tell you about starving times, too. I need money, you know, so, uh, you know, chores and everything. Her name was Veda. I remember I said, but her granddaughter owns it now, and she had dementia or something, whatever. Uh, and uh, she gave me, I figured, give me money, green chili cheeseburger, you know, and fries. <laughs> and you know, and then I, uh, people, uh, that's the first time I would, uh, and uh, and I, I was camping uh, at a place, and uh, well, I put my uh, phone number up there. People, to, uh, they need work, you know. But I've been through so many times since then. Uh, long story short, uh, that's a good little community. I've been through there like a hundred times, you know. And uh, uh, shout out to the uh, EO Tavern. John used to own it. He don't own it anymore. Uh, he sold it. Those people are the salt of the earth. They treated me with kindness, and they give me work. They used to come out my campsites, hang out with me. I love them. Okay, we're going on. Okay, I love Monument Valley. I've been there 13 times. 13 times Monument Valley. So I get there, you know, I'm hanging out. I've got permission to camp by a certain Navajos. One of my places to go. And, there, uh, you know, I, I open up the little gate, and go, you know, go back there and I, where I camp at and there's a spring that comes out of the, the sand. You know, and there's wild Mustangs there, mm -hmm. which they were brought from Cortez and Conquistadors and all that. Yeah, oh, you know, and there's wild Mustangs. You know, I go check them out and you know trip on them, and this, you know, it's uh, just loving it, you know, loving life. Because Monument Valley is a spiritual place. It's beautiful to have. Yeah, there. Monument Valley, because uh, I'm like this man. We were talking about earlier. When you start starving, it's fasting, and I'm, I'm more in tune with uh, myself and Mother Earth, and um, you know, uh, our God. What's, what's the definition of God? Spirit. Okay, that's who, that's what I'm in tune with, you know. And that's the that way. And I take my own. I, I have a flute. I have my Bible, my King James Study Bible. 
I've read it three times. I, I have a Lakota Sui Warrior love flute. I play is over 100 years old. We did a video at my bed and prep, so I'll play it. <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm there, you know, and uh, I was thinking, look at these horses. I'm like, oh, it's poor babies, you know, they're, they're just pawing at the ground trying to get the water to come up. Mm -hmm. I'll check them out a little bit, you know, and then I scare them away, whatever. Well, I, I take a flat rock and dig it out, dig up a big old pond, mm -hmm. you know, and it's seep up. And the next morning, looking at those horses all around, just drinking that fresh water. And, me, and then when it settles down, I'm drinking the water, you know. You drink that muddy water? No, oh, I wait till the bud settles down. Man. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah. I, I've snatched, I've snatched trout out of the stream. Mm -hmm. I've taken them and cooked them and fuck, uh, wrap them in uh, uh, dandelion leaves like a sandwich. Yeah. You know what's good? Dandelion leaves good for your liver. Okay. Everybody loves trout. Well, I before, do. Before I end the video, Levi, you, you want to give a plug for your bed and breakfast, your phone number or anything? I want to get. I want to get uh, uh, from from Montana to uh, Wyoming to Idaho to Oregon uh, to. Northern California, everybody I've met and everybody that knows me, I want to give a shout out to everything to everybody. I want to give a shout out to my sister. My sister, did I already do this though? No, my sister is uh is a good, good human being. My sister is uh my best friend. Uh she uh Penn County Sheriff's Department, uh she's a deputy uh uh there for over twenty years. I wanna give a shout out to Uncle Larry. Retired from the New Haven County Sheriff's Department. Uh, I did this, didn't I? At the beginning, yes. Okay. I want to give a shout. And uh, Jimmy, my cousin, tighten up, boy. <laughs> All right. And uh, let me see who else. Jeff, my friend. Yeah. And uh, let me think. Who else? Uh, oh, yeah. I want to give a plug. You see this? Levi's Bed and Breakfast. I see it. Yeah. I'm getting ready to open up pretty soon. And I want cool people. I'm 420 friendly. I don't take smokers. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a spiritual place. What is the phone number? Do you have a new phone number now? Yeah. Um, yeah. What is my new, new phone, phone number? My new phone number is 575-415-9333. Uh, Say it again. 575-415-9333. Got it. Yeah, because well, he, what doesn't, day will get, he doesn't have a website. No, you got to call me. I'll, I'll do FaceTime with you. Facebook. No, FaceTime. Oh. You don't have that? What is that? It's like this. Dude. Well, don't, let's don't get into well, it. Well, I got an iPhone 11. It's like this. We, we, yeah, I could call somebody oh, and, and they can look at me. I can look at them. Yeah, yeah, oh, I got you. Got you. Like yeah, yeah Skype. FaceTime. Got you, got you. Yeah, he's ahead of us now. Anyway. Yeah, and I don't even know how to use it. <laughs> I just got it. Go with me. You, you want to add anything? I, I want to do a shout out. My, uh, my son who uh, recently got coronavirus, uh, he's, uh, he's actually captain in the Navy. But he's an engineer. That's his regular job. Mm -hmm. He's in the reserves, you know. Right. But uh, he got the coronavirus, but he got a mild case. He's so lucky, and he, he was he's tested. Young. He was tested positive, but all he got out of it was a headache and and something else, huh? Well, it, it, yeah, it's it's, it's, yeah. it's bad for older people that's already got health problems. No kidding. Well, he is older. My son's 55. He's still young. Though. You want to say something to somebody? Um. Shout out to my daughter, Bianca. Love and miss you very much. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway. I'll well, I want to give a shout out to Go my ahead. brother, Mike. Go ahead. Give a shout out to your brother, Mike. Let me I love you, Mike. Even though your wife uh, hates me, I don't care if I've only met her like one time. She's ugly on the inside and damn sure ugly on the out. Uh, no matter a big or bad person. Anyway, guys. I just want to shout. <laughs> yeah. I hear you. Well, anyway, guys, thank y'all. But. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, from Capitan, New Mexico, Beer 30, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, Carpe Diem, thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products or PayPal, whatever, drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, keep your health, you know, you know the drill, keep your health, because they, these are good people, man, this is a real slice of the real America that you probably never see on TV, so having said that, guys, at ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye.